So in four minutes, are you going to tell us about a deal that you've closed recently? <laughs> I, I hope you and your editor can go in and, and, and like snag these little stories, right? This is why I'm asking you these <laughs> things. <laughs> so let's see here, a uh, recent deal. Well, let me put on my thinking cap. And let's see here. One of the guys, one of the crew and the contractors uh, working on, uh, yes, okay. So we just started rehabbing this house last week, small house in uh, Newport. And uh, it's probably only got like barely a thousand square feet. So uh, this was a, how I found the deal was, uh, it was an ad, an actual paid ad on Facebook that I was running. And uh, it's a picture, the ad is a picture of me with a yellow bandit sign in front of, of me, in front of my picture. Uh, and I'm holding this bandit sign and it says full price for your house. Wow. And the phone number, right? And so, and there's a picture behind me or I'm standing in front of, you know, some houses, et cetera. So uh, the uh, daughter of the elderly lady that was living in this home contacted me uh, from this Facebook app and, or contacted my acquisitionist. And so the story is this, the lady that was living in the house, she had been living in this home for like, over 30 years, maybe 40 years, long time. And uh, she got to the point that she just could not keep up the house anymore. And she was needing to go move into an assisted living uh, somewhere, um, which, of course, uh, thank goodness, when I bought the house, coronavirus had not shut everything down. And so <clears throat> she contacted us and the after repaired value on this home is approximately $140,000. I bought it for $52,000. Uh, but it is about a $30,000 rehab. So $50,000, $52,000 purchase, $30,000 rehab. We'll have between purchase and rehab, $82,000. But still, yeah, uh, the uh, after repair value is right, right at $140,000. The reason the rehab is so much is because we're actually moving walls around and opening up the kitchen and making it larger. But here is the interesting part of this story as to why I got the deal. An actual competing real estate investor, and there aren't many of them around here in my small area, but an actual competing real estate investor offered five more thousand dollars than I did. So how is it that I got the deal? Two ways. You see, as long as you can understand where the seller is coming from and what their motivation is, you'll get more of your offers accepted. You see, I knew this lady had nowhere to move. She was going to need to move, but she hadn't even gotten any plans together on where to move. So here was my offer. I pay her all cash. So it was free and clear. So there was no way to buy it subject to the existing note. So we paid her all cash. I paid all cash with private money, closed on the deal. And my offer was I'll pay you $52,000, but you can go ahead and get all your money now. And you can live in the home for free for two months after we close and give yourself plenty of time to find, you know, somewhere that you would want to move to. So right. that, gave her, that gave her the cash flow, gave her the money, it cash in her pocket so she could, you know, move on with, uh, you know, uh, the, the rest of her life um, and still stay there in her home for a couple of months. It was so, because of that offer we got the deal accepted. Yeah. So you're, it's not always only about the money. That's right. That's right. In this case, it was, getting the money quicker because I told her she could have all of her money in seven days. Right. Uh, so getting all the money, getting it very, very quick and then allowing her to live there for a couple of months. And what was the after repaired value again, Jay? 140,000. Cool. So 52 yeah, for the house, 30,000 to fix it up and you're going to sell it for 140. Correct. So you're going to make your usual profit. Exactly. On a small house. 
on a small house. And of course, we were we were able to buy it so uh, such at a discounted price as well. There was no mortgage; it was free and clear. You know, no mortgages on it. Right. So there's the details: fifty-two to, to buy it, thirty to fix it, and sell it between one hundred and thirty and one hundred and fifty. Yeah, yeah. This is the Tom T O M Man M A N N Tom Man Road House, the Tom Man Road House. Let's make sure I got that right. Uh, two N, sorry, M A N N, to be exact. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to shoot Corey a text and tell him we are ready when he is. So, Jay, it would seem it would seem pretty obvious that housing prices are not going to be going up for the next little while. Well, actually, they are, according to a Wall Street Journal that I, uh, article I read last week. And here's why. You got a lot of people that had their home in the multiple listing service for sale. And now a share of those people are fearful and don't want people in their house. So they take their house off the off the market. And now you have a, a smaller supply. And when you got smaller supply of houses, prices goes up. Wow. And there's 